This is a big day, everyone. The Asus ROG Ally has finally released. And of course, this is a mostly a Steam Deck channel. So here we are. I was able to pick this up today and it's upside down. Okay, here we go. Um, so I was able to pick this up in the USA. It's only available in Best Buy. I don't know why. Uh, I think they had an exclusive partnership with them. Um, when I went in there, I asked for the ROG Ally. They had no idea what it was. They had to get three people and I had to point it out to them in the store. None of them had ever heard of it. So I guess we are an incredible niche part of PC gaming with these handhelds because none of them knew what it was, but I was able to get it and I wanted to give you quick access and opening and unboxing. So I'm gonna have a lot of videos coming out about this thing uh, just because it's the first real competitor to the Steam Deck. I mean, we've seen some other people like 1X Player, Aya Neo, you know, GPD. All of those predate the Steam Deck actually. And so the Steam Deck kind of blew them out of the water. Um, Asus is the first company with real money that might be able to compete with them. So I'm excited to see how this compares. I. If you go back and look at an old video, I thought this was going to cost at least $1,000. I I really, really, truly believed that this would not be released under $1,000. And here we are, $699. I, only $50 more than the most expensive Steam Deck, which is, I I couldn't believe it. I mean, I'm blown away. All right, so this, it looks like it's two boxes. So this is like two boxes sealed together by tape. It's a really beautiful box, actually, like... I love the holographics. I love the design. This is very, it's giving Apple, right? It's like giving Apple vibes. Like say what you will about Apple. They know how to package a product. Oh, that's already cut. Look at that. Oh, did I cut that? Okay, let's you finally get this. Whoa, whoa. Okay, got a quick start guide in the front telling you how to charge it. <laughs> the words plug in and power on in every single language imaginable on earth and some in space. Good to know. Okay. I think that is important. Ooh, wow. It is very covered in that patented Asus plastic. Uh, wow. Wow. It's really light. It's like very light. I'm, I'm, so surprised how light it is. Like, I know people said it's light. We've got the annoying plastic on it, guides to press the joystick button and press buttons. Good. I didn't know how to do those things, so I'm glad they gave me a guide. And step two, power it on. Wait, does this literally hold this and press A? Is that what it's saying? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Let's get this plastic off. Dude, I don't know how to do this, like, gracefully. I just rip it off. I, like, I don't care. Okay. Sorry to all my ASMR bros out there. This isn't going to be very graceful. I'm not one of those YouTubers. Okay. Let's get the plastic off. Ooh, did that give you uh, goosebumps? Is that what y'all like? Okay, wow. It feels really good. I, I gotta admit, it feels good in my hand. It doesn't feel, I, it's, God, it's so much smaller than the Steam Deck. It's almost insanely smaller. Like, it feels strange. This it, it feels like when you're so used to using an Xbox controller and then someone hands you a Nintendo Switch Pro controller, it just feels different, you know what I mean? Like, not bad, just just different. Okay, so at the top, we've got the power button. We've got a power LED, oh, headphone LED, sorry. Uh, power LED, volume up, volume down. This is our USB-C port, uh, I guess, for charging. This part is where, for the XGM, they have these mobile GPUs that you can plug in, and it uses these proprietary PCIe lanes, so it's going to use all of this, which is very cool. Micro SD card slot and the headphone port. Awesome, okay. And then we've got these two triggers. Oh, wow. The triggers in the back come down. That's nice. We got R1, RB, clicky. On the front, we've got the triple line, the Asus Armory Crate, which is their built-in kind of crappy software. Got the double window, and I don't know what that is. Looks like a triangle. 
This is my first time. I really have no idea. Got our two speaker grills here. Got two joysticks that are not aligned. So the Steam Deck is actually up here. It's aligned and this is more of an offset. So this is more of like an Xbox controller and the Steam Deck is more of like a Wii U controller, if you remember that. Uh, the D-pad has, it's okay. It's not the best. It's one of those concave ones where it's all just one piece and not necessarily individual buttons. I am not sure what I prefer. All right, let's check out the back. Ooh, it, this thing looks so much better than a Steam Deck. I'll, I'll say like aesthetically, this looks like a gaming device. It doesn't, you know, and then that might be a bad thing to some people. Some people don't like that and that's okay. But, you know, for me, I think it's kind of nice. I think this is a, an LED strip that'll light up. We have a air vent for getting, obviously venting out air because this thing's going to get hot. And then we have an M1 and M2 button in the back that kind of fit perfectly when you're playing. I guess you can use your your middle fingers. Ooh, nice, satisfying click on that. Okay, very nice. The plastic feels pretty good. It feels more like that Xbox controller type of plastic rather than like the Steam Deck or the DualSense. It's kind of got a matted textured finish to it. So it feels, feels warm in your hand, which is a nice feeling. Um, yeah, nice. I mean, good first impressions look good. We've got two more air vents at the top to get out air. I'm guessing this is an intake and this is exhaust or it might be all exhaust. I mean, it's a, it's a very small device. I doubt it has any intake. We'll see. Uh, I guess hold down the power button. I have no idea how to set this up. I purposefully didn't watch any videos on it because I, I don't, I don't want to know, right? Like I don't know. I don't want to know. I, I want to do it myself. Did it come with a charge? I'm going to hold on the power button. Wow. Well, that's disappointing. So it came with a dead battery. You know, it's not the end of the world. Um, obviously I have the charger here, but that's one of my pet peeves, man. Like I, I like when I get a device, I just want to get it going and I'm not expecting a full charge. Obviously I understand they have to sit in a warehouse, but you know, can we get a, just a little charge? Maybe something. All right, so we've got the power LEDs turning on. So we've got it plugged in. Luckily, I've got the uh, the charger right here, so we can actually just do this. So let's see if I can hold down the power button. Okay, it vibrated on boot up. That's pretty nice. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I like when devices have power out the gate, just a little bit, like just to get you going. Okay, but the LEDs are coming up on these joysticks and they look... Pretty good, actually. I bet you can change those colors. Those look nice. I got to say, that does look nice. Man, it feels so good. It's so light. It feels like um, less unwieldy than the Steam Deck. The Steam Deck feels like it's all over the place, but this does look nice. I've already got smudges on the screen. Okay, so we are booted into Windows 11. We are connected to Wi-Fi. Uh, you cannot use the joysticks to get, navigate the keyboard. You have to use touchscreen. Eh, minor annoyance. I'd, I'd like to use these, actually. I like that the Steam Deck gives both options. All right, so I guess we are in setup. Um, just to let it go and wait a few minutes, I guess. Um, it is Windows after all, so it's not going to be a, an immediate thing. Um, a lot of people say that's why they are looking forward to the ROG Ally, because it does have Windows. But to me, I think that's a hindrance. Uh, Windows is pretty bloated and uh and slow so i don't know why you'd want it on a handheld so but i'm hoping they prove me wrong um i wish windows would make a specific to handheld version of windows that is a dumbed down version that would be fantastic that would be perfect as far as i know this is a full fat version of windows 11 which why i you know we don't need that i'm dying man i, I just want it to be set up already <laughs> Remember when you were a kid and you could just plug in, a, man, I'm sound so old. When you're, you're a kid, you get a Nintendo 64, you can just plug it in and start playing it. Now you got to start updating. You got to log in. You got to do everything like, ugh, especially like a PS5. What? No. No, I don't. What? Do I have to sign in? I don't want Microsoft Word. This is a gaming device. I'm not going to be writing... Oh man. Okay. I mean, I don't want any of those apps. I don't want any of them. Maybe the Xbox app, but I don't want anything else. So uh, log logging into my Windows 11 account, which I wish I didn't. So you can restore from a previous laptop. Uh, I do have a laptop named Jason Laptop. 
Uh, I don't want to restore from it. I want to start something fresh. Is that the automatic that it's going to restore? Let's see. A few more options. Set up as a new device. Why is restoring the original option? I feel like that should not be it, but okay. Uh, no, I don't want fingerprint. I just, just want to play the game. Okay. All right. Still, still in setup, setting up passwords, setting up. Oh my. Okay. I will change all this later. Oh my. Are you serious? It's trying to sell me a subscription plan to Microsoft office. Wow. It's really it's like, this is just windows 11. This is the standard setup for windows 11 on a, on a desktop or a laptop. I'm, I'm surprised. It's, it's a. Could you imagine in a workplace, instead of a laptop, they give you a, an ROG Ally? That'd be pretty cool. And a little keyboard clip out. Okay, we're finally in Windows. Look at this. Your device is optimized for touch. Okay. Wow, it's just in Windows. So is this 100% touchscreen? Okay. So yeah, that's the one thing I wish this had. I actually do like the touchpads on the Steam Deck. I use them all the time. That's like a number one gripe for me. I think... I might miss them. I might just have to get used to this. But if you've ever used joysticks instead of a touchpad, they are extremely sensitive. So it's hard to get pinpoint precision when using it as like a trackpad. So I'll have to check how that works on here. Maybe it's good. Who knows? Setup is complete. Tap, tap here to launch Armor Crate. Okay. So I know Armor Crate is Asus's software. Uh, they build it with all their motherboards. It's kind of like they're overclocking and their systems. And so I guess they built that into here. Let's go down. Uh, yes, you can sell my data, I suppose. Welcome to Armory Crate. Let's skip. I don't need to know that. Moving out. Does it come with the game already? Okay. So this is the game library. So I guess this is uh, this is their Steam OS kind of mode. So if like big picture, if you just want to play games, maybe you do through Armory Crate so you don't have to navigate the desktop, the Windows 11 desktop. Okay, that's cool. Let's get started by logging into Steam. Oh, and it goes to the desktop. Okay, so I guess it's just like a, what is that called? A front end? It's like more like a front end, so you can like make stuff look better than having to navigate this. I'm very interested in editing videos on this. I want to see if, uh, if it can keep up with a laptop. Because you can edit videos on the Steam Deck for sure, but Premiere Pro doesn't work on Linux, and I don't really want to use anything else. So um, I want to try... Premiere Pro natively on this and see how it does. I bet it does okay. Okay. I have scanned my QR code. Whoa. It's, it's really loud. The speakers are very loud. Is it a full blast? Yeah, that's a full blast. Wait, no, it's not. It's a 60. Wow. Very loud. Good. Welcome to big picture mode. Before you start playing, here are a couple of useful tips. Okay. Uh, press any button. Okay. Whoa. Okay. We are in my Steam account. Great. Um, man, what game do I want to play first? I think Street Fighter would be the easiest one. This looks pretty good. This. Wow. Look at that screen. You can tell it's a high refresh screen just going through uh, <laughs> these menus, which won't help it much. But we'll see. Let's give it a Street Fighter. You know. Let's go Street Fighter. Can I just hit go? Yep. Let's accept it and install. Okay, that was easy. So I'm trying to just see how easy it is to get into a game from someone brand new. Maybe not everyone knows how to tinker. Not everyone knows how to do all this. And with Steam, Steam Deck, it's very easy. Very easy to get into a brand new game, if you even if you don't know what it is. So like this so far, it's a little bit extra steps, but it's actually not that difficult. It guides you through pretty easily. So while it's installing, let's look around a little bit. So while we're in Steam, that's all good. But if we hit this Armory Crate button, that goes back to our game library. And we can access our settings. And in the settings mode, it looks like here you can control, you know, your Bluetooth, your Wi-Fi. Uh, the RGB can be configured in this menu. That seems pretty cool. Operating mode. I guess this is where you can change, like, the resolution. I think you can also change, like... Um, the power that it's receiving. So if you are playing like a low fidelity game, maybe like an indie game from 10 years ago, you can lower how much wattage is getting in the, you can change how much wattage your thing is receiving so that you, your battery can last much longer, which is pretty cool. You know, we always love to see that FPS limiter has stuff like that. The refresh rate, RSR, it's got all the standard uh, command center stuff. 
can change the controls. It's all done through the armory crate. Um, it's kind of confusing because it's not all one thing. It seems like Windows 11 is a thing, Armory Crate's a thing, Steam is a thing. On Steam Deck, it's all kind of one cohesive element, right? Not everything's separated. Um, so, you know, this might just be something people will have to get used to. But I think people are going into this expecting it to be a little bit simpler than the Steam Deck, because with Steam Deck, you have to go into, like, desktop mode a lot, and you have to, like do all these weird Proton compatibility things. So I don't think we're going to get a lot of that on this guy, but I do think we're going to see a lot more confusion when it comes to, you know, settings and customizability. All the things that the Steam Deck excels at, I think this is going to be uh, a headache. And in the opposite, I think everything that's a headache on the Steam Deck might be a little bit easier on this. So we're going to see it. I'm going to have a full review out uh, in the next week or two. I don't know. Have you seen people that buy these things and they review it in like a day? You can't review a, a device in a day. You need to give it time to simmer. You got to test it out. You can't just base it on like the specs. You actually play with the thing, man. Okay. So there's two control modes. There's gamepad mode and desktop mode. Ideal for most games with built-in gamepad support and a first third-person camera. Ideal for non-gaming scenarios such as web browsing. Okay. So it's interesting that they explain it. On Steam Deck, you just have, you know, the gaming mode and you have desktop mode and mm, people can figure it out. But here they actually like give you a concrete example. Maybe people aren't familiar. So that's cool that you can choose which one you're using. You can go back and forth. On Steam Deck, to go into desktop mode, it's a whole thing. It's like you have to basically restart the device, go into desktop mode. Want to go back to gaming mode? You have to restart the device, go back to gaming mode. This one, it's all kind of one thing. So it's not a lot of uh, back and forth. So that's nice. Okay. It took 100 hours to get going, but we're booting it up. Running install script, Microsoft DirectX. Okay, so yeah, it's, we're just running a direct uh, Windows version. Ooh, I hope it doesn't run with that bordered top. Oh, does it run with that? Can I double click it? Nope. Okay, well, I'm sure we can change it. I wonder why I booted up in windowed mode for the first time. You see, we have that big window at the very top and double clicking it doesn't go to full screen. Um, that might just be a Street Fighter thing because I have heard of people saying that up the gate that it starts in like a windowed mode or a certain setting uh, and I can't hit alt enter here, right, to full screen or, or can I? Could I bring up a keyboard? I don't know the virtual keyboard uh, button yet, but what does this button do? Ah, this is the command center. Okay, so this triangle one is the command center. So remember earlier we saw we can edit the command center. So this is where we can do all of our little settings um, and change it from here and we can change all of these we can change what is in this command center as well we can change like what we want to change on the fly okay so if i just hit here and i go to keyboard all right well there you go it brings it up cool okay now i don't see an alt on this keyboard uh yeah i don't think we're able to unless i had a physical keyboard i don't think i'm able to alt enter which uh for Windows newbies, that would give us a full screen automatically, but I'm sure I can change it in the game. I don't blame the Asus RG Ally for that. I think this is a Street Fighter thing, um, but we'll, we'll check it out after it compiles. Oh, God. Look at this. <laughs> That's not... <laughs> uh, I hope this is just... I would like to play the game, but it's just sitting here. I don't... Can I? Okay. This is going to be a nightmare for someone, man. Look at this. <laughs> okay. I can use Windows style and right click, so hold, and close window. All right. Now, how do I go back to gaming mode? Running. It says it's running. It is not running, but we can hit it. Preparing to launch. Okay. Let's get a better closer look an error occurred while it's running uh i'd like to play street fighter 6 please so i can't uh okay so this isn't gonna work i think this is a street fighter thing and I just kind of 
this is supposed to just be a preview, not a review. So I, this will be in the review, but I just want to, I want to get a game going. Any game not moving out. Okay. I'll just get a low game. Three gigs. Okay. I don't want to be here all day. I, so I couldn't get Street Fighter to work. Um, I'm sure there's something I could do to change it. I don't know. Like, but this is just a preview. This isn't a review. Uh, it might be something with Street Fighter specifically. I don't know. I haven't looked it up. Uh, so don't judge it too harshly. I just wanted to get a game going. Oh, this one already finished. Let's go. Okay. So this is Lethal League Blaze. This isn't a very difficult game to play. It's actually very light. I can play on the Steam Deck, I can play on the Switch, but I, I like it a lot. Okay. All right, let's see. So I'm going to play this at a very strange angle. Wait. The controls aren't right. This is supposed to be jump. Why is B pause? Okay, so the controls aren't just automatically set like on Steam. Oh, wow, look, there's no controller settings. Maybe I have to do it for once. Just like on... Okay, let's do controller settings. Official layout for Lethal League. Okay, so I think I, I had to set that. Uh, nope, that still did not work. So I can move the joystick and that's it. Interesting. So I wonder why the jump's not, not working. Let's try the control layouts. Board game. Board, okay, well. So now it's stuck in a, in a board game window and I don't know if I can see it. I don't know, maybe I need to update the device. Okay, look, gamepad mode, it's unrecommended. It's on the recommended mode. Play. Oh, okay. So I wanted to upload it. I wanted to um, update Armory Crate. Uh, is there anything else I need to update? Because things aren't working, you know? Things are not working. Um, let's try Lethal League again. I can't even choose it. Come on, right once, it skips over. There we go. My goodness. Yes, yeah, gamepad mode. Let's do the recommended mode. That's what I want. Okay, A doesn't work. Okay, I guess the touch screen it is. This doesn't seem easier than the Steam Deck. Everyone said this was gonna be easier than the Steam Deck. This seems more complicated actually, like this, this doesn't seem easier. I've had more issues in the last hour messing around with this thing than I've had on the Steam Deck in a long time, so I don't know. Maybe just growing pains. Who knows? This is day one stuff. Things can change. So, okay. So it launches in desktop mode, and the start menu is still here. Okay, if I touch that, it goes away. Okay. Can I play normally? Let's see if it'll actually let me play, because earlier... Okay, I can move. Can I jump? Okay, we're in business now, so I, wait. Okay, so earlier, I guess I just had to update Armory Crate because I wasn't able to do it. Now it's kind of working. I'm trying to play through the viewfinder. It's kind of difficult. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, so, okay. So maybe growing pains, just, if you were getting this today, just be sure to update it. Just update it immediately. Update Armory Crate. Restart it a few times. Get those things going. It's not You can't get into a game as fast as you could on the Steam Deck. But, you know, that's growing pains. I'm not trying to drag this through the dirt just yet. Um, I think it has a place. But, hey, I'm I'm playing a game quickly on a Windows handheld device. That's That was a you could buy at Best Buy. You know, that's, that's pretty cool. Because it's up until this point... This is the first one that's like actually available at retail, at least in the US, because we've got like the Aya Neo, the One X Player, all those guys. Those are all available online straight from like Hong Kong, China, Taiwan, you know. And then you have the Steam Deck, which is also available only online from Seattle. So this is the first one you can walk into like a Best Buy and just buy one, like first one retail. So 
I think we're going to see a lot of people using this device who maybe aren't as familiar with the Steam Deck or with those other players. And I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's it's going to be good for the industry. It's good for uh, good for competition. But this out out of the box experience needs to be uh, worked on. And it's it's not fair to compare it to the Steam Deck today because the Steam Deck's been out for almost two years at this point. It's got two years of updates on it. Um, and so it, you have to compare it to the Steam Deck day one, right? There's like there's going to be growing pains for new hardware. There's going to be growing pains for new software. Like they're just and apparently like in the last month, the performance of this device has increased 20 percent just from like the review units. So if they can do that in one month, I think a month from now, two months, three months, I think this thing could be really cool as long as they work out the kinks, because just from the first glance, it looks very cool. I'm going to be doing a full in-depth review of this after a week or two. And I'm also going to be doing some guides like how to change the SSD, how to get the best settings. I'm going to play with it and give you everything you need. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more Steam Deck, Asus ROG Ally technology content. My name is Jason. Thanks for watching.